what's up guys so we're gonna put this fender on my Miata because the passenger fender in the front is basically had been replaced in the past and it is flaking clear coat all right here now this 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 I did uh, basically use a compound and polish I didn't wax it and I didn't wet sand it because I'm going to do that later but I just wanted to give it a quick little shine up in about 10 minutes so yeah I'm going to show you guys the before and after pictures of this right after this, but let's go get this on the car. Alright, so we're back guys. You guys can clearly see what I was talking about this fender is worn out and has seen better days compared to the rest of the car you can just see but what also bugs me is this fender is from a junkyard and if you can kind of see you can see the lettering and how they, they write numbers and everything and that didn't come out I haven't tried but I also don't feel like paying this I'd rather just put the other one on so to remove this um, you know, just take this, this this and this they are 10 mils almost everything will be 10 mils that we're working with today on this fender all right so i'm gonna take this off and i'll catch you guys in on the flip side there's also a bolt right in here it's, if you open the door it'd be basically right in there but uh mine's already gone and i can't open my door because i got my tires there so it's right there but next we're going to go down and we're gonna go down here to the bottom. And then along here, there should be some bolts. Here, here, here. Should be some bolts in there. My guess is that the person who put this on snapped those bolts and then didn't drill them out. So I'll probably do that. And then also, whenever you take this off, just have a bag on the ground right where it's gonna fall because junk will fall out of this so you don't have to sweep it up later just put a bag under there and it should catch it all so i'm gonna take these off i'll let you guys know when i get it so i was right they were not original screws they were eight millimeter self tappers so that's awesome so for the next one we have to go inside the friend well and if you can see these they're back there and then you also gotta take this off, holding this on. But lucky for me, someone beat me to it, so cool. Looks like I only have to do that one. And if you can see way up there, I believe that's the other one we have to do. But for now, let's focus on that guy up there. So actually, jokes on me, I didn't realize that both of these have already been taken off and there's no nuts on them, so you guys have fun getting those off because these suck to do. And make sure you don't forget this. But next, we're gonna move up here. You're gonna take this one off and this one off, but surprisingly, I'm missing that one too, so perfect. But yeah, I'm gonna take this one off and I'll catch you guys once I pop this off. So I remember there being some you can see those bolts. I remember there being like another bolt somewhere around here. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's already taken off on this car. But no big deal for this. It would appear that it is already pulled off. So we're good. So after that, you can pull this off. Like so. But I'm gonna let you guys go so I can do this more gently. All right, and it's off. Um, there probably will be another bolt like back here, but on mine, it was basically ripped off. Like the this piece that has would have a hole in it um, was ripped. So I didn't have to get that off. I just could pull it off. But you guys would have to pull that off. I mean, not pull it off. You'd have to unbolt it. And also, I did realize that I didn't have a fender liner. 
And this is awesome. I'm pretty sure this is my, uh, for my airbag sensors. They are plumbed up somewhere in the front, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's held on by duct tape. So, sweet. If they still work anyway, but. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you guys next time.